Brakatea Hawa, Brakatea Hawa Shai, Brakatea Hawa, Brakatea Hawa Shai, Brakatea Hawa, Brakatea Hawa Shai. Blessed be the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of the Heavenly Father, Yahawa. And blessed be the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of His only begotten Son, Yahawa Shai, our Lord and our Savior. The Thamash Nakabai lies, Kumishar Sharala, get double honors to the elders of Israel, being the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Shalom, Wahab, Labak, Yashar, Yasharala, which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. Come back at y'all again with another lesson by Haruka Chodash, Shah Maf, and the Holy Spirit of Truth. And uh, the title is of this lesson is going to be something along the lines of We're in the time of judgment What reward shall you receive? All right, because there's a reward for the righteous And there's also a reward for the wicked So which one do you want? Depending on how we move And how we conduct ourselves in these last days It's what's going to determine that so It's what's going to determine If we're going to get a righteous reward A, a, a reward to the uh, um that's given to the righteous or a reward that's given to the wicked. In the book of Second Peter, it says, seeing that these things will be dissolved, these th or the elements being dissolved, uh, how is the elements going to be dissolved? Through intercontinental ballistic missiles. That's the ultimate judgment that the Lord is bringing. All right? So seeing that a nuclear war is about to take place, what manners of persons ought you to be in all holy and godly conversation? If we're, If our conversation is holy and godly, and that's the reward that we're going to receive. But if we're moving not holy, unholy, and ungodly, which would be outside of the scriptures, if we're moving profane, right? Then the reward for that is the reward of the wicked, which is fire and brimstone. Or getting caught up in these plays. The Lord said, I said, I sent scourges for amendment. Scourges is punishment. All right? Amendment is correction. The sword, famine, death, and destruction that's going to be the reward of the wicked. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. This is the book of, uh, I'll start off with Revelation. This is Revelation chapter 22 and verse uh, 11. It says, uh, He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. So there's a separation, there's a division amongst Israel. The Lord said, let the filthy be filthy still. Let the unjust be unjust still. If a nigga can't get it, we moving on. You want to be filthy? You want to go back and forth? Right? We're not living in them times, man. All right? Yet the Lord's coming back quickly and speedily. So if you're not with it, then you can get lost, man. If you ain't trying to get right, then you can get left here in America when the missiles come. Let the righteous be righteous still. Let the holy be holy still. Verse 12. And behold, I come quickly. This is in the red letter. Yahweh Shai is coming quickly and speedily. And my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. All right. So if your works is good, you're going to receive a good reward. If your works is bad, that's what you're going to receive. All right. You're going to re receive a, 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 a judgment, harsh judgment, according to your um, wicked deeds, according to your wicked works. Okay, let's move to the next scripture. <clears throat> this is the book of Matthew, chapter 16 and verse 27. It says, For the Son of Man shall come in the glory of his Father with his angels. Yeah, Yahweh Shai, he's coming in, in traveling in the greatness of his strength. He's coming back in his chariots, man. So-called UFO, so-called UAPs, with the with the holy angels, the host of heaven. All right, as it says in the book of Matthew, the 24th chapter, that he's coming with the angels to gather his elect from the four corners of the earth. The elect is going to be rewarded with salvation, with deliverance. The filthy, the unjust of the nation of Israel, they're going to be rewarded with destruction. Again, the sword, famine, death, destruction. Those are scourges for amendment. Punishment for correction. It says, for the Son of Man, Yahweh Shai, right, shall come in the glory of his Father, the true name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, with his angels, and then he shall reward every man according to his works. So we have to make sure our works 
are pleasing to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. And the things that are pleasing to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is revealed to us here in these scriptures. Let's get a precept to back that up. This is the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 9, and verse 17. In thy counsel, who hath known, except thou give wisdom and send thy Holy Spirit from above. That's the only way you can get the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Is this is if it's given to you from above, you can't purchase this. You can't find it under a rock, or you can't go to some school and, 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 and get a scholarship and pay for the Holy Spirit. It has to be given to you. Peter said that to, I believe the man's name was Simon or Simeon, which is, is synonymous. Um, in the book of Acts, he was trying to buy the Holy Spirit. And, and Peter cussed his ass out, man. Okay? The only way you, uh, it says that uh, faith is a gift from above. Wisdom is a gift from above. That's the only way that you can obtain this. So we are truly blessed to have the eye salve to see. Truly blessed to have ears to hear and a heart to understand. That shows that, that, that the Lord is dealing with us uh, uh, from the heavens. And if we endure unto the end, our reward is going to be great. In the book of um, Hebrews, the 10th chapter says, Cast not away, therefore, your confidence, which have great recompense of reward. So we're going to get a great, glorious reward if we keep our confidence, which means faith. If we keep our faith and endure unto the end. It, it tells us a little bit of that reward in the book of uh, Revelation, the second chapter. He that overcometh. Or it says, hold, hold fast that which ye have already until I come. What do we have already? This wisdom, this faith. Hold fast to it until the Lord comes. Because when he comes, he's coming with that reward. And if he finds us doing what he has asked us to do, he finds us holding fast that which we have already, this wisdom, this faith, he's going to make us ruler over uh, all his goods. As one of the parables say, I believe it might be Matthew's the 24th chapter in the latter uh, in the latter verses. OK, so let's continue on. This is the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter uh, nine and verse 18. It says, for so the ways of them which lived on the earth were reformed and men were taught the things that are pleasing unto thee and were saved through wisdom. All right. We were taught the things that are pleasing unto you. All right. Through what? Through what's written and through the men that he has set up to teach us these different things. Our eyes shall see our teachers saying, this is the way, walk ye in it. Okay, in the book of Acts, it says, these are the men that show us the way on the salvation. So the Lord has risen up his men, risen up prophets in the last days, showing us how to please him. Showing us the correct way that leads to salvation. Okay, and it says, and we're saved through wisdom. The elect is going to be saved through wisdom. The kingdom is going to be brought in through wisdom. Wisdom of Solomon 6. Wisdom bringeth to a kingdom. Therefore, ye kings of the people, honor wisdom that ye may reign forevermore. So back in that Revelations where it says, hold fast that which ye have for already. The, the, hold fast to this wisdom. Hold fast to this, uh, hold fast to this faith. Uh, uh, the next verse says, he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, the same shall get power over the nation. So that's a part of the reward. Okay, that's a part of the great reward if we don't cast away our confidence, our faith, this wisdom. Okay, let me read that again. I had a precept I was thinking about, but it escaped me. So, Lord will, uh, scripture jog my memory. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 9 and 18, and, and the Spirit gives it back to me. Wisdom of Solomon 9 and 18, it says, For the ways of them which lived on the earth were reformed, and men were taught the things that are pleasing unto thee, and were saved through wisdom. So, a, the, the things that are pleasing to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is being taught throughout the four corners of the earth. So if anybody that if if if, if there's Israelites that's not doing the things that's uh, pleasing to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, they have no excuse because you've been told, you've been warned, you've been given straight commandment. Okay, let's grab that. This is the book of Second Ezra, chapter and Tawari Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, because this is what I was thinking about. <clears throat> Second Ezra chapter 7 and verse 20. It says, For there be many that perish in this life because they despise the law of Yahweh that is set before them. Many is going to perish. That's that's what the, that's the reward of the wicked. Perish, perishing, death and destruction is going to be the reward of the wicked, of the reward of the ones that's being disobedient, the reward of the ones that seek not Yahweh by Sham Yahweh Shai. They're going to perish. Luke 13 and 3. Lest ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. But if ye do repent, as the Lord said, repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. If we do repent, all right, the Lord will show mercy. Isaiah 59. 
It says the Redeemer shall come unto Zion, unto them that turn from transgression within Israel, unto them that repent. It's who the Redeemer is going to save. Okay, verse 21. For Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai have given straight commandment to such as came, what they should do to live, even as they came, and what they should observe to avoid punishment. Alright, so the Lord has told us the things that, that, that we need to do to live, to escape the punishment, to escape the judgment. Right? Giving us straight commandment on what we should observe to avoid what's coming. And, and the Lord has risen up his men to tell, to, to tell uh, and warn the nation of Israel. And most of them is choosing death rather than life. So, hey, if that's what you want, then that's what you're going to get when Yahweh Shai comes. He said, behold, I come quickly with my reward. Okay. Um, nevertheless, continuing on, nevertheless, they were not obedient unto him, but spake against him and imagine vain things and deceive themselves by their wicked deeds and said of the most high that he is not and knew not his ways but his law have they despised uh proverbs 13 and 13 he that despised the law of the lord shall be destroyed roughly paraphrasing in his statutes have they uh slack it but his law have they despised and denied his covenants in his statutes have they not been faithful and have not performed his works all right, so they're they're gonna perish. Their their reward is gonna be um, death, pain, dwelling in torments, fire and brimstone. Their eyes melting in their holes, tongue melting in their mouth, nuclear fire, being being uh, destroyed, pining away in the time of famine. All right, slowly dying in the time of pestilence. Or teeth of wild beasts ripping them apart. These are the different things that the, the, the different judgments that the Lord is going to send upon this place. And if we continue to follow what is written to the best of our ability in sincerity and in truth and in fear and in trembling, the Lord is going to allow us to escape these different things. Okay? So let's go from there <clears throat> uh, to the book of 2 Corinthians. Second Corinthians chapter five. Salak <clears throat> yeah. Second Corinthians chapter five and verse ten. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Yahweh Shai is coming. And we want to make sure that we're that we're uh, able to be found worthy in his eyes. So what do we have to do? I grab it. This is Luke chapter twenty-one, and I'll straight to, uh, straight to the point. Luke twenty-one and thirty-four. It says, "And take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness and cares of this life, and and so that day come upon you unaware." So we have to take heed, we and examine, scrutinize, put ourselves under that microscope. Okay, and be straightforward. Look at that man in the mirror and tell him what he needs to do and tell him what he uh, doesn't need to do. Right? Tell him what he needs to work on and, and tell him what he needs to cut the fuck out. Right? Straightforward. You got to be hard on yourself, man. So that you can grow in grace. So that when Yahweh Shai comes, well, I'll continue to read on. It says, For as a snare shall it come upon all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the son of Yahweh. All right. Uh, so like it, and that and well, it is the son of Yahweh, but let me read it again verbatim. And to stand before the son of man. Right. Speaking of Yahweh Shai. OK, so we want to when Yahweh Shai makes his return, we want to be able to be counted worthy to escape all. All these perils that's to come and to be able uh, uh, to get beamed up into his shit, man. Get beamed up and, and, and saved from the nuclear fire and, and, and changed in a moment in the twinkling of the eye when he returns. It says we don't know what we shall be, but we know when he comes back, we shall be like him. We shall see him as he is, roughly paraphrasing the book of First John. That's the reward that we want to be changed into immortal beings. Fuck being destroyed here in America with these fucking peons and sodomites and bug outs. 
I'm trying to make it on them ships, man. That's the only thing that matters. That's the only thing that's important. That's the only thing that's relevant. Okay, so let's go back into 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 10. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Mashiach Yahweh Shai, that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he have done, whether it be good or bad. All right, whether it be good or bad, you're going to receive a reward. If you're doing bad, then the reward is, is going to be just that. Let me get a precept. <clears throat> Psalms Psalms chapter 91 And I'll start at verse 5 Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by day Nor the arrow that flieth uh, So I can, let me read that again Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night Nor the arrow that flieth by day The nuclear war that's going to take place nor, the, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness for the destruction that wasted, so like it, nor the destruct, nor for the destruction that wasted that noonday, right? Uh, and that's what's coming: great destruction, nuclear war, fire and brimstone, America melting. Right? The uh, 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 the day shall come when the earth shall uh, uh, melt like um, uh, shall burn like an oven. That's that's uh, Malachi the fourth chapter, roughly paraphrasing. Okay, verse 7. A thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come near thee. If we're doing the things that's pleasing to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh when all hell breaks out loose, we will be sheltered. But if we go outside of that and we're willingly sinning and willingly going off, then you won't be a part of that uh, thousand. All right, that that that, that the, the, them thousands and thousands and, and even millions of people that's going to get put to death. The slain of the Lord shall be many. He's only coming to deliver a small few, but he's also coming to destroy a whole lot of people. It says that in the book of Second Ezra, the ninth chapter. As a drop, or as a, a wave is greater than a drop, so uh, uh so shall the, um. So like I'll grab it, man. Second Ezra chapter nine and verse uh, fifteen says, "I have said before, and now do speak, and will speak it also hereafter, that there be many more of them which perish than of them which shall be saved. Like as a wave is greater than a drop, more people is going to die, and that death, that death is going to start skyrocketing. They, now they're talking about the, over here in the U.S." Mandatory nationwide lockdowns round two. Now all of a sudden they got the vaccine. Uh, 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 the coronavirus cases is, is skyrocketing here in these these last few days. So they're gonna start moving. Shit's not finna slow down. The plagues are sent and slack not a moment. As a woman in the ninth month, when she bringing forth a try a child, great pains can pass her womb. That's second Andrew, um, second Andrew sixteen. So this is not gonna slow down. We're in the time of them contractions. When them contractions stop, they don't. When they, they, when them contractions start, they don't stop, and then and they don't slow down, and they don't get easier. All right, they speed up, and the pain intensifies. That's the times that we live in. So we must continue to examine ourselves, as that Luke said, take heed unto ourselves, so that we can stand worthy and escape these things that's coming, so that we can get the reward of the righteous. Instead of the reward that's coming to the wicked. Let's go back into that. Psalms. This is the book of Psalms chapter 91 and verse 7. A thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand. But it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold the, and see the reward of the wicked. Only with our eyes shall we see the reward of the wicked. What's the reward of the wicked? Quoting it again in the book of Second Ezra. Scourges are sent for amendment. The sword, famine, death, and destruction. That is the reward for the wicked. The reward for the righteous is escaping those different things. Okay? And that's just the beginning of the reward, uh, the reward of the righteous. Escaping the different things that's to come. Being saved. That's, that's only the beginning. We can't even fathom the great reward that's going to come to the Lord's elect. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, and neither has entered into the hearts of men what the Lord has prepared for them that wait for him. So let's continue to strive for the reward of the righteous. Okay? 
um, if I read not another verse, verse 9, this whole chapter is hot. Verse 9, it says, Because thou hast made the Lord, Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, which is my refuge, even the Most High, Yahweh, thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling, which lines up with Ezekiel, the ninth chapter, the fourth verse, that mark of exemption, the Dawa, to escape the judgment that's to come. All right, let's get another. I got two more precepts. Unless the Spirit gives me anything else. I want to go to uh, from there to Galatians. <clears throat> Galatians chapter 6 and verse 7. Be not deceived, Yahweh is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Okay? Whatsoever a man soweth, whatever you're doing on this earth is going to come back to you. You're pushing out an evil, wicked, rebellious vibration, right? That's what you're sowing. That's also what you're going to reap. That energy is going to come back to you. It's called the judgment of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. Okay? If you're doing good things, things that are pleasing to Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, that is going to come back to you. All right? In the form of blessings. Okay? It says, Be not deceived. Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall we also reap. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. So if you sow into your flesh, that's what your reward is going to be. Right? Corruption. But he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. But if you're sowing to the spirit, your reward is going to be right uh, life everlasting. Verse 9. And let us not be weary in well-doing. For in due season, we shall reap if we faint not. In due season, we will be rewarded for being faithful to Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, for serving Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, if we faint not. So Lord willing, Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai keeps, our, keeps his spirit on us until the end. Okay? So this is the last precept that I'll end it up with. <clears throat> is the book of Sirach. Hmm. Uh, Bob Kusha, bear with me. Book of Sirach, I think it's 23. Salakia, Sirach, Sirach chapter 18 and verse 20. Before judgment, examine thyself, and in the day of visitation, thou shalt, fi thou shalt find mercy. So, hey, the Lord is coming. Right? Everybody is going to have to stand before Yahweh Shai Mashiach and be held accountable for what they have done. He cometh quickly to reward every man according to his works. So before he comes, let's examine ourselves. So when he visit this place, Lord willing, we will be shown mercy. Having that said, Lord willing, that was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. Yahweh is the true, holy, powerful, and mighty name of the Heavenly Father. And Yahweh Shai is the true, holy, powerful, and mighty name of His only begotten Son, our Lord and our Savior. Rakakwadash is the Holy Spirit that speaks through us, that allows us to rightly divide the word of truth and teach the word correctly and directly. That the Mashanaka Bailaza Kum Yashar Sharali get double honest to the elders of Israel, being the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Shalawan Wahab Labak Yashar Yasharala, which speaks in love to the elect of Israel. Shalom, Maki, and me brothers keep on pushing. Stay sober, stay diligent, stay uh, uh, prayed up, stay faithful. Salvation draweth nigh, and redemption is nearer than when we believe. Shalom.